I'm gonna listen to the bit about foxes. Foxes. Foxy lady. Alright. Go. I'm probably gonna cut all that out. <laughs> need to be more transparent when it comes to foxes. I think you need to tell the world that you have foxes wandering your street. <laughs> like, don't let us just find out on the street while minding. <laughs> I think it should be a thing that you talk about casually. We have yeah. Is it like, rain? Uh, oh yeah, foxes. Tell Tell people around the world that you have rain and foxes on the people, streets. Don't know, people don't know that we have rain. People know. I thought it was one of our like no, main things. Exactly. But at the same main thing should be the foxes on the street. Okay. Huh? <laughs> I honestly didn't know that other countries didn't have this. No. <laughs> it should be a thing that you talk about casually. We have the queen. London Eye. Oh yeah, foxes for days. Foxes. Because I was walking through Shoreditch High Street, right? Shoreditch High Street, first world London. What did I see? Fox. But not a fox running away from traffic. The most confident fox I've ever seen in my life. This fox was investigating a crime. Like that's how confident. You know when the fox is like, yeah, yeah. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> My friends and my friends are like, you know, I said to my friends, I have to acknowledge this idea of a fox because the fox is here now, like, not like the fox is there, the wild animal here now, and everyone is calm. See the way you are calm, everyone is calm. I'm the only one who's freaked out about this whole issue. So now I have to address the issue of a wild animal in first world London. So I said to my friends, hey, I don't know much, but I can tell you with confidence that that over there is uh, not a dog. That's not a dog. It's not a dog. That's not a dog. That's not a dog. That thing there. <laughs> that is, uh, my friends are only so that's a fox. We've got tons of them. Sorry, we saw that. Before we come. <laughs> wow. <laughs> And he looked at me and said, oh, you're from South Africa, yeah? You should be used to wild animals. And then another one of friend of mine was like, oh, that's a bit racist. I said, no, it's not. I'm from Africa, we have animals. You people travel to see animals. What's so racist about that? Then I realized you guys as Britain have fucked up so much in the world that your racism is like you have another level of racism. But we have like, you know that your, the racism you guys discuss and talk about is like that nuance. Mm, is that, mm, is it, I grew up during apartheid South Africa. Our racism was very, very clear. You know what I mean? It wasn't like subtle, there's a gray area. It's like, why can't we go to the beach? Because there's a sign that says no blacks allowed. I don't know the sign. You know what I mean? Very straightforward racism. I like it. Top of the range. Top shelf shit, man. Not huh? this nonsense that I'm experiencing in London. Oh, I'm not Japanese. I'm from Taiwan. Ba ba ba. Listen. <laughs> <laughs> I don't live here. I'm confused. Leave me alone. <clears throat> not used to that racism. I'm used to that top range stuff, man. And here's the thing, I don't know how to navigate myself through London because it's so multicultural. I don't know who's going to get offended. I don't know who's, you know, I, I just don't know, you know. But I did find that when it comes to gingers, it's open game. Anyone can, anyone gives a shit. You know what a ginger is? Yeah. yeah. I know I can't understand what do they talk about. What? Like, like when, I know when people make fun of gingers? No, I mean, when they talk, I don't think they are extant. I think they're what, from... What, ginger people? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they have a different accent? Yeah, usually, yes. What accent? I don't know, ginger one. What does it sound like? <laughs> ginger one. <laughs> Are we talking about people with red hair? Yes. <laughs> Do you mean Irish people? <laughs> Just every ginger has a different accent. <laughs> different accent. Maybe. I've never heard that before. <laughs> That's a new one. <laughs> to gingers, it's open game. Anyone can no one gives a shit. No one gives a shit. No one No one cares about gingers. Like you could kill a ginger. You know that you kill a ginger. And you'll get to the 
judge would be like, what happened? I killed the ginger. The judge was like, yeah, but it's the ginger. I mean, what? <laughs> what did they expect you to do? Not kill them. Kill the ginger. Why would you not kill it? <laughs> I went to Blackpool. It's a position. Um, yeah, I was in Blackpool, right? And I was doing some shows in Blackpool, and there was a white woman cleaning my room, my hotel room. I must understand, I grew up in apartheid in South Africa. I grew up in a very unequal society. So this for me was, never experienced this in my life. There was a white woman cleaning my, oh, I was throwing shit on the floor while she was cleaning. <laughs> <laughs> I said, I don't know how long this is going to last. I don't know if this is ever going to happen again. I'm trying to make it last as long as possible. So, <laughs> I was taking pictures. <laughs> sending it to the family WhatsApp group. <laughs> I was like, you're doing well, my boy. You're doing well. 